This video will show you how to get a video into InDesign and then it will be embedded in the PDF file that you export. Uh, the first thing you need to know is that you need to export your video from Premiere Pro at the size it's going to be within your page. And so, for instance, mine is 500 pixels wide, and yours will probably need to be the same because uh, that fits very nicely on this letter-sized page. Uh, so export it from Premiere. You might want to turn it down to a lower bit rate huh? so it doesn't take as much memory, and then just save it to a folder. So if I go to File and I pull down to Place, I'm just going to place my video in here, same as I would a picture or a text. And here it is, MP4. Click Open, and then when I click to release it, it'll take a minute to render it, but once it does, I can pull it into position. So I have some guides in here I'm just lining it up to. And actually, if I exported this right now, it would work but it would have kind of limited functionality. I could click to start it playing and then you can't stop it. It just plays. So in order to get something where the viewer can actually have some control over starting the play and stopping the play, we need to go through one more small step. And that is, and again, I'm in the interactive for PDF workspace. So if you're not, go choose this from the drop down menu. And then you will get access to this window here called media. I'm going to open up that, and there's a couple of really nice things you can do in here. Uh, you can put in controls, and so let's go ahead and do that first. Right now, my controller says none. I'm going to drop that menu and just choose the very top one, which will allow me to have a playhead in there for play, stop, seek, and mute. Beautiful. Groovy. And uh, then I'm also going to check show controller on rollover. We're kind of used to that kind of interactivity with the internet. And then the poster image. So by default, it will just show the first frame of your movie, typically. I don't really think this looks all that great, so I want to change my poster image. And so this will actually preview the movie. You can even play it in here. Very groovy. And so I'm just going to drag this over till it gets to a point where I like that image a little bit better. I want the picture of Bud and Bernice together. There they are. Okay, perfect. So now I have the poster image I want, and all I have to do now is click this refresh button, and that will load it into the frame. And uh, believe it or not, that is it. We are done. That is all there is to embedding a video. So let's go ahead and export this. Let's do it. And so just make sure you know where you're saving it to. Make sure that the format at the bottom of this window says Adobe PDF Interactive. Very important. Very. And uh, I'm going to give this a different name. Go ahead and click Save. And then, as before, uh, you know, you've got to pay attention to these settings. Uh, this time I'm just going to export the page the video is on. So I'm going to choose page 6. It doesn't really matter which of these is checked um, because it is just a single page. Uh, the viewing, same settings as before. And I didn't mention this in the previous video, but you'll notice view after exporting is not checked because if you're on a Mac, it will normally open preview by default and we don't want that. No way. And then down at the bottom, you must have include all checked and I usually embed page thumbnails. And that is it. I can now click export. When this window comes up, it's just saying InDesign is a CMYK workspace. It will switch your colors to RGB. That is absolutely fine. Just click OK. And so I'm going to open up my window here. And I would like to show you what happens if I just double click on this. It opens up in preview here. And do you see a video? Uh, I don't see a video. Well, that's why you can't look at these interactive PDFs in preview because stuff like that will happen. So I'm going to close this and then I'm going to right click on this and I'm going to open with Acrobat Reader. But remember, just Acrobat and Acrobat Pro will also work. So choose that. There we go. I can see the video. When I come over, it gives me this nice little hint saying click to activate. 
and my video will start to play. When I roll over it, Shortly the controls the show up. Of the military service. And so I'm going to leave it here. Good luck with your project. Thank you very much. <laughs>